Kenneth Chrissy Dean, what keeps you up at night? <laughs> Besides caffeine, um, here are the here, when when I think about that, these are the things that I fall asleep thinking about and wake up thinking about. Um, one question has to do with um, just what would it look like if there were a community that had a, some kind of a problem that they needed to solve? And they said, you know what, we've got to get the most creative people we can find to tackle this problem. What we need are some Christians. What would it look like if that were a sentence somebody actually said, <laughs> you know? I've never heard the church associated with that kind of creativity and innovation. And I don't know why. I don't know why, you know, innovation, creativity is not one of the first things associated with people who are following Christ into the world. So the second question is, okay, and it's not unrelated to the first one. So as you know, I, I teach at a seminary and I work with young adults a lot um, at the seminary and in my church. And a question that haunts me is, You've got all of these people who are, you know, leaving high school, going into college. Some of them have been formed in faith. Some of them have not. And they want to change the world. And so what do they do? To change the world, they go work for Tom's Shoes. But working for the church doesn't even cross their mind. Now, why is that? Why is it that if you want to change the world, the church is like the last place you'd want to do that? If you've got a great idea, some kind of creative idea that needs to be nurtured, the last place we want to take it is the church. It's like the church became, somehow has become the place good ideas go to die, you know? And I don't think that's really faithful to what it's like to live as a Christian. I sure don't think it's, it, it doesn't reflect anything about the God that we have. So I just want to know what it would take for young people to think about the church as if you're going to change the world, that's the first place you go. And, you know, then we can move on from there. Uh, but those are the things that keep me up at night.